Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn how to create a repository. So before starting how to create a repository, first thing which we have to understand is we have to install the git and after installing the git we have to do the some configuration like we have to set the author and we have to set the email. So I am using macbook so in macbook you can click on the terminal and you can start a new terminal or you can use the existing terminal like this. After that first thing you have to do is git config user.name using that you can see like what username has been set. So if you are doing this first time like if you are running git config user.name first time you will be seeing empty so we can set this config using git config user.name and then Krishan Khan single or whatever as my name is Krishan Khan single we have to keep this in quotes once we do that so it's giving me an error could not log config file git config no such file or directory basically we are getting this error because we don't have any repository okay so if we are doing git config user.name it's it will give you the set username but if you are trying to set it will try to set it locally because we are not setting it globally to set it globally so that every repository which we are going to use have this username we have to use uh, dash dash global flag once we do that it will set it uh, it will set it globally we can see this using git config user.name so if i do git config user.name you will see like Christian con single has been set as a name and after that you have to use git config user.email to check what email id has been set in my case it's a christian kant at noblis.com currently set let me change it to my actual uh, email id single at gmail.com so in this way in this way we have to set basic config like user.email and author at least to work and after that we can go to the folder where i want to uh, create the repository or I'm going to learn I'm going to teach so if I go teaching I am inside a folder so like there are two different way uh, there are different ways of creating repositories one is like create the repository locally and then push this repository to push this repository to github or bitbucket or any kind of uh, software repository or another approach is create the repository there then clone it and put your data or whatever so we can have different approaches so i am going to create the repository locally so what i'm gonna do is i am going to run a command known as get init so basically what this command do this command initialize a repository okay so when i do git init it will create a repository inside teaching git if i do now ls you will see a dot git folder but because uh, because it's starting with dot git it's not visible so i have to do like uh, if i do like this i may i am able to go inside so when a repository is created a dot git folder is created and in that dot git folder there will be head config folder hooks folder objects folder branches folder description info and reference so i will be talking about all this folder once we will go in depth but basically everything all source control are uh, all version history logs commit everything are stored in this dot git folder so basically this is like a journal for your source code version con source code your his uh, version history commits and all when you click uh, when you create any repository by default file or anything so if i do git status it will show me uh, it will give me the status of my current repository and it's telling there is nothing to commit and on branch master and this is initial commit okay so let me create any file uh, let me create one file 
which I can which I can add to my git repository so I am creating hello deck hello.txt to uh, sim, uh, simplest program or text file to learn anything so vi hello.txt hello so i will be just keeping hello and i will be saving this file this will be the first version of our hello.txt if i do the git status again you will see like git is telling untracked files and there is a hello.txt file okay so currently this file is not getting tracked by git so what is the mean of untracked here is like currently git does not about anything about this file so if we want to track this file by git then we have to add this file to git repository so doing that first we have to run the git add command as it's showing here use git add to include in what will be committed so let me do the git hello dot txt okay git add hello dot txt once i do that and if i do the git status again you guys will see uh, it has changed from red to green now <coughs> and git has started tracking the changes of this file but still it is not into repository when we are talking about git uh, there are basically three stages one is known as working directory second is staging area and third is our repository i will be talking about and explaining how that thing work but first let's see uh, let's understand it is in staging area so i have to i have to move this file to our repository so how i can do it after adding you can commit this file for that we use git commit okay git commit command and then minus m for the message and this is as my initial commit i am giving it initial c or mit initial commit so once i do that it will show me this is a root commit and the hash of this commit is 5417e02 and it is on master branch and it is my initial commit whatever message you have given will be displayed here and it is telling me in this commit one file has been changed there is one insertion if you have deleted inserted 10 number of lines so it will show 10 inserted and 5 removed or something like that and then create mode it's creating this file newly so it's telling 100644 create mode and hello.txt if i do now git status again it will say on branch master nothing to commit working directory clean the mean of that there is nothing to uh, commit now everything is in repository and nothing has been changed what is in the repository okay so if i do now git log you will be able to see i have a commit hash and the author name is question can single and it on september 2 this was september 2019 it was created so this is how git we create our first repository so this repository currently at the local okay now we can push this repository to github bitbucket or wherever we want so first before going that let's go to the dot uh, git folder to just little bit uh, understand what's going on so if you see like i created the uh, we created the first commit so if you go inside the objects folder it is where your all objects will be stored so you can see there is a 54 d1 after different different folders has been created let me go to 54 okay and then it is having some big junk of uh, hash here if i try to go inside this less here and it's telling it's a binary file basically it is storing the content what we have saved in our file so object will be holding the objects and it will be having uh, it will be generating on the basis of the commit hash if you if you see 
the 54 and 170 17 e 0 so it created a folder 54 and then inside that it has used this to create the file so basically it's distributing commits it's distributing object in dot git folder on the base on the basis of hash that in dot git folder and go inside objects again and if we, I go to D1 so it's having something here and then there is a F2 folder and then there is a info folder nothing is there and there is a pack file okay so basically in pack file it will be keeping compressed form of the objects okay so the file which we have so this way git is storing your ob file in a object folders and it will be storing different version of that so we have created hello.txt file we have created a repository and inside that we added one hello.txt file and then we used git at command we used git at command to add that file into our staging area then we used git commit command for committing that hello.txt into our repository but this repository currently is local it is not pointing to any remote repository so it will be on your pc itself okay so this is how you can create a local repository